Guys, donut is one of those snacks that after eating it, you just have to say it's like a reward. For this recipe, we'll be needing 265 grams of all purpose flour, 65 grams of sugar, one tablespoon of instant yeast. Now we have to mix everything very well to combine. We need all those dry ingredients combined. Then after that, you want to add one egg into your mixture. And then, guys, you're going to be adding your six tablespoon of lukewarm water. Now, just be safe, guys. Do not use normal water. Just use lukewarm water. Now, transfer onto a surface and knead very well. Now, in the beginning, trust me, it's going to be crazy. But as you keep going, it gets easier. You want to knead that very, very well. Now, guys, the next thing you have to do is to add your two tablespoon of margarine or butter in this case i'm using king's margarine now you are going to incorporate that very well it looks very messy at this point but as it keeps going guys it becomes easier Feeding time is 20 to 25 minutes and when you know it's ready you put a finger inside it and then guys you see your dough bounce back out now you want to add little oil back to your mixing bowl so it doesn't stick because we're going to let this rise in a warm area now you can see that after 45 minutes it has risen to a reasonable size i just want to work on this for just some time to remove the air bubbles from this mixture so just knead it just for two minutes two to three minutes and that is okay now the next thing i'm going to do is to cut into sizes in this case i'm going to be cutting into 65 grams so guys this is just my personal preference it just depends on how big or how small you want your donuts to come out looking but for me 65 is just the perfect size now guys you want to close this out because you don't want your donut breaking you see those flawless donuts you see it takes time you need to close it up very well you need to do this take your time please don't rush if you've gotten to this stage please do not rush now for me i just like to rub it on my palms in a circular motion and kind of slam it on my work surface for me that is just my personal preference but whichever way that will get you into making it look this smooth is your choice now as you can see i allowed it to rest for like 20 more minutes now we proceed to frying you don't want your oil too hot do, neither do you want it too cold it just has to be moderate so your fire has to be really low so it can cook through now allow it cook for two minutes on each side and then me i coated mine with milk you can coat yours with sugar or whatever you want and if you want to be extra feel free to do your milky donut by adding the milky filling in between but for me it was sweet enough I didn't need to add any more thing like i just love donuts plain i don't like all those serere inside so guys this is the way i like to enjoy my donuts if you follow each step that i've given to you you will have a flawless donut just like the one you're seeing on my screen